Hello, it's me. Crazy Rebecca dances with pit bulls. We got like a multi-part, multi-part video going on here. Let's start with a small Hobby Lobby haul. This, no, let's wait. You just wonder what this is for a little bit, okay? You just sit there and wonder about that. I got for forty nine cents some way cool map paper, a lot of way cool map paper. And I love this. I've had it before. I probably have some left and I don't know why I like it I just do okay don't don't judge me okay you know how like I obsessively collect oh let's say necklaces bracelets earrings and and come on what is it pins I just can't even stop. <laughs> Have you seen my cover photo on my personal page for Facebook? Yeah. Ron's looking at one of these things and crying about it. I wanted this and it's mine and I only paid $2.49 for it. So there. Then we go the traditional route. But look how pretty. I, I shouldn't go to Hobby Lobby. I shouldn't. This is shiny and it has, well, the Love Never Fails Regional Convention is June 21st. I'm going to hook this to the thing Kathy sent me, the Star Wars lanyard. I'm going to hang my badge on it. Yeah. $1.49. Okay, I got this, and I'm going to let you see what I paid for it. Yeah, it was a lot. But look how much it had been. $12.99 a yard. Okay, so yeah, you're like, okay, yeah. So that's a lot of money. What are you going to do with it? Number one, it's fabulous. It's bling. Look at the shiny. Are you kidding me? They look like diamonds. I know they're not diamonds. They look like diamonds. Okay. All right, she says. Let's find an end. Here's an end. And I got one fabulous safety pin with it. Okay, so. This is what it looks like. Well, imagine that on on anything, on an iCAD, okay, so you might see that on an iCAD. What about on a journal? What about it? Look, hello, what about on the spine of a journal? Hello. What I actually want it for. I don't know how much is here. What is this piece? There are two. There must be two pieces. Because here's an end. Oh, 
this too. We're gonna go over here and I'm gonna show you something. That's my steampunk outfit. Bear with me, the light will get better. Okay, I need to take this uptown to get buttonholes put in it. Okay, but imagine this all along the edge. Hello. Oh my gosh. This is the skirt. Virginia did an excellent job. We could put some on the shoulder thingies. We could put some here on the cuffs. Man, I wish there was more of this. So that is the outfit I've been talking about. Now I need a place to wear it. But first I need to finish it. And I will. Yes, indeed, I will. So, I need to put this... I gotta find my holder. I just had it. Oh, I see it. Okay, we're gonna go outside. I'm gonna put this in the holder. I'm gonna pause you, and I got something else to show you. So I have some very good news. The plumber came today and he fixed the leak in the ba in the basement. I know, I can't believe it either. It's been over a year. So when I took him down there, one of my things I had had fallen over. And it had was sitting on these two tubs. So I thought, well, I'll just take the tubs up and look through them while well, they smelled terrible. They smelled moldy, mildewy, whatever. Yeah, you ever like, you know, you know you have stuff, but you just don't know where it is? It was in those tubs. Look at all those crazy quilt blocks. Some of them I have decorated, some of them my grandkids decorated. <laughs> so, I want to finish decorating them and put them together into something wild and wacky. So here's what I want you to do. Can you please, if you have a block, could you send it to me to be included in this wild and wacky quilt? It does not matter what size, it does not matter what color, because I will make it fit and I will make it work. So I knew I had purple stuff. There's the purple stuff. There's the burgundy stuff. I knew I had, I just didn't know where it was. There is the shiny stuff. Shiny, 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 look it. Here's the green stuff I knew I had. All of this fabric, this was blues, pinks, and greens. Yes, okay. This stuff has not come out yet because I was waiting on that stuff to quit smelling. So I can, but I have, how could I forget where I put this stuff? Shame on me. There's for my red and black. I just feel... I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I feel happy that I found it. And stupid that I didn't remember it was down there. I must have put it in there. Let's see, when I got my internet. Red and black, look. Um, yeah, when I got my internet, because I had been doing crazy quilts up until then. So I must have just packed it up, took it down there. This was before I guess I realized that it really was wet down there. And then, since it was in a tub, 
and I made like a table on top of it. I just forgot about it. So, oh, look at this yumminess. These are fabulous. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This will be going in Deanna's quilt and my red and black quilt. Remember my mom's friend gave me that fabric. So <laughs> yeah, Victor, you gotta clean your house sometime, don't ya? Let's take a brief stroll here. Okay, I wanted to refilm part of this because I am horrible at camera work. I watched it. It was so shaky. I apologize. So anyway, I made that little purse planter. I found that purse in the garage in my stuff. And this is me moving really slowly. These are, I bought like a six pack of succulents. I put three of them in the purse and three of them right there. I picked peas off my plant and I made a stir fry. <laughs> I used one green onion. No more. Oh my it's a bike God. gang, biker gang. <laughs> my herbs, my jalapeno plant. I made this planter. I stuck just bits and bobs of succulents I had. This is a constant battle. Picking off the dead ones. This is basil and it smells fabulous. Oh my gosh. This is Thai basil. That is dill, which also smells fabulous. And that is oregano. We have an update on my bell pepper. And look at my little tomato. My mouth started watering when I said tomato. This, yes, daylily. Bee balm. I hate this bindweed. It doesn't, all it does is choke your plants. It doesn't do anything. The volunteer tomatoes. Also, these volunteer tomatoes. Aren't they cute? I just saw, oh, right here, a dead one, another dead one. doing good. I'm going to take you up on the porch. I plod. I plod like a giant. <laughs> I can't like glide or tiptoe. What's Rob O'Bain doing over there? Over there. See him? Oh. 
I didn't show you this last time, but I'm going to do it now. I moved my dinosaur thing over here because the mowers keep, they mow this all down and I'm never here to tell them not to do it. But I like this stuff. It's the wandering Jew my grandpa used to grow. It gets a blue flower on it, so. This stuff went crazy. I'll just throw it there. It'll grow. from this side. This is a pineapple sage. Oh, I wish you could smell that too. Lemon balm, rosemary, chives, lemon thyme. Okay, I'm going to try to glide up the stairs. <laughs> I can't do it. I covered up the rocking chair because it was ugly and bugging me. These are pillows that I made. This, I did not block it. It's cotton. It's a cotton shawl. Um, oh, this fell over. Oh. Always love this one. This is doing good. Those are fake. Fix my daughter out every time because I move them around. Made this little succulent thing. I made that little succulent thing. Uh, my mother in law tongue has a baby down there which I've been watching videos on how to propagate those this pillow and this is my hanging basket that's looking good who's that I don't know I don't know I put a spider plant in with that. If it don't grow, fine. If it does grow, yay. It's a little planter I made. This thing is leggy, but it still looks cool. I need like some kind of sculpture or something coming out of it. And this is Darth Vader. He has spider plants, wandering Jews, and some ivy some ivy. I believe I said a kid lead ivy too. So these stupid leaves are to constantly groom but it's still blooming and see the new flowers coming here and can you see that spider? He is the maker of the perfect webs. Yes. So these are blooming. Don't overwater them. That's the trick. That's the trick, she said. Okay, there's garbage out there. I am not going to go pick it up yet. Because it'll just come back. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, so who's going to come sit on the porch with me? You can watch all the traffic go by. And I'll let you have the rocking chair because I need to sit in that chair to play my guitar. So doesn't that sound fun? I am eagerly awaiting your arrival. To the porch of destiny. <laughs> This is Dances with Pitbulls signing off. Very carefully, very carefully signing off.